Okay, guys, I'm going to do um, a fairly quick video on Eastside Hokey. Um, he was the teenager that was stabbed and almost killed on the Bronx River Parkway. Um, a lot of people been complaining that there's not enough information about him, um, and there really isn't. Um, when I when I did my uh, research. There really wasn't much um, being said, uh, but this occurred July 18th, um, and they're saying that some of the people who attacked him were also people that attacked Junior. So let's get into um, just some facts about him. Um, it says here... Oh, an off-duty EMT saves teenager after witnessing brutal stabbing. Rowan Thomas said she abandoned her car and rushed to help the 14-year-old who was surrounded by teens and weapons. She jumped into action after witnessing this brutal stabbing. Um, let's see. She was on her way home from work when she witnessed a large group of teens and saw a 14-year-old boy who had been stabbed. She says, as I got closer, I realized some of the teenagers had weapons on them and they were kicking and punching, going on and on. I started honking my horn and yelling at them. Then they started to run off. And even if they hadn't run off, I would have gone in there. I just knew that I had to help. And I knew that if I didn't, someone else might not. Thomas said she jumped out of the car and hopped over the two highway barriers after seeing the teen crawling to other cars for help. I told him to basically stare at me even if I wasn't making eye contact. I kept asking him what is my name, so he kept saying my name over and over again. NYPD Chief of Detectives Dermont Shea said the teen had been stabbed 14 times after two groups had arranged to meet up at a park and fight. She potentially could have saved this 14-year-old's life, so good job there, he says. Potentially, she did save his life. Thomas got into the ambulance with the boy and gave her car keys to a police officer when responders arrived. He was scared. He kept telling me that he was scared and he was having trouble breathing and that he was in pain. He said he knew it wasn't good. An anonymous friend of Hokie's family said the teen will most likely lose a kidney but is conscious. The incident is currently under investigation. Okay, number one, he did lose a kidney. Okay. Um, and I don't believe that anybody has been arrested in connection to his attack. Um, if it was some of the people that attacked Junior, then at least they're being contained for that. But obviously there were massive amount of kids out there fighting. So I know there was definitely more than a handful. Um, and I'm sure they haven't been caught yet. Um, so I just wanted to say that he is doing better. He's out of the hospital and now he's just trying to live his life, I guess, as best as he could with the PSD of what happened to him, um, and having to relive that over and over again. Um, I'm going to keep checking back, uh, to see if there's any updates on him or if any of the people were arrested in his case. But at least this story has a happy ending. And thank God this woman... Um, <laughs> thank God this woman uh, sprang into action and uh, wasn't afraid to help him because he definitely would have died. Everybody else was just kind of like standing there recording what was happening to him, but not getting out of their cars. Um, so this is just a lesson for all of us. Uh, please, if you see, say, if you see something, say something. Um, if you can save a life, if you can help somebody, please do so.
um, we really need to come together as a people and stop watching people suffering and do something about it. Um, he said, my love is with you and your family, and I'm glad that your story ended well, um, because it could have ended a whole different way. And, um, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I included some pictures and a video, and leave your comments below. I also, uh, left his GoFundMe, um, he hasn't even met his uh, what do you call his goal yet? Um, so if anybody wanted to, uh, donate, um, it's still, it's still up to donate. Okay. And I'll leave that link in the box below. Thank you for listening. Okay, guys, I'm going to do, um, a fairly quick video on East Side Hokey. Um, he was the teenager that was stabbed and almost killed on the Bronx River Parkway.